Hello everyone, and welcome to another WandaVision review of custom figures. Today we have kind of the same characters. The characters are the same, but the designs are different. And by different, I personally think improved, or just, you know, they are kind of different. I think they're both good. First hand, um, I'd just like to show a little some figures that I have here. From the last WandaVision figure review. Kind of updated some of the figures from the view. You know, to make them more better to me, at least. At least to me, they would look better. Um... Wait a minute, I'm trying to fix Agatha Harkness's cape. Why won't you stay straight? I don't know, it, the, the asymmetry is kind of uh, bugging me. I'm a real OCD because the cape is overlapping too much on one side and it's too far into the other. Yeah, I know it's a little different uh, head that I used. Wish it would show up. It's not focusing very well. Now can it show better? Uh, slightly, but whatever. Hmm. Should show up better, but of course not. Just angled it differently. Is it focus? Maybe just wait for it to focus a little bit. Just come on. Oh, this bitch. Man, I'm gonna beat up my phone. There. Now it should work. <laughs> Come on, whatever. That's it. That's the. That's that. Here's uh, Agnes. I just put it together, sort of. Is this so blurry? This is really bothering me. And I have the light up all the way, so I don't know. Wait, maybe if I turn the fan on. I don't know, maybe it's like... Maybe the motion in the background is causing it not to focus well or something. I don't know. So... Focus! This is so... Blurry. Wish it wasn't. Her, yeah, Agnes. I believe this is from episode three.
And I'm beating my phone up after this. It should be in better quality right now, but it's not. So I'm gonna beat it up until it gets better quality, because that's how things work. Remember, if you beat something up good enough, it will eventually work. Don't, don't take that into consideration. That's, that's horrible advice. I just wanted to say that on the record. I just want to make it sound like it was good advice, which think that it is, but know that it isn't. Okay, um, here's a Mephisto costume I made. Obviously these are both made out of Lego parts and non-Lego parts. These figures. Yeah. Anyways, so me, speaking of the Mephisto, obviously, what I was going to say before, um, until I get distracted and how freaking blurry it's making everything, I mean, I can see it clearly, but it's all blurry in the phone, or camera, or whatever, who cares, um, I have new figures, and there's a Mephisto figure in this line too, obviously some of them are duplicated, I mean, some of the characters are, are obviously the same, except Mephisto, which is different. This is the Mephisto one, I think. I think I'm only going to show that, because I will. So, instead of showing you individually every single one, I'm just going to say there's Billy, Tommy, there's Spectrum, you know, Monica Rambeau, Agatha Harkness, the Scarlet Witch, Wanda Maximoff. And the Mephisto's the new one. Did I miss any? Oh yeah, there's there's a white vision. There is no regular vision, because I don't know. There's also another version of Scarlet Witch. Where she's more, you know, Wanda. Uh, in the uh, final form of the last episode. So we're gonna go start with the kids first. Because... I don't know. I, I like to save the best for last, and because of how the kids look, I'm not crazy about it, so yeah. Come on, where are they? Okay. So, Billy and Tommy. Which one's Billy? Which one's Tommy? I think this is Billy. Billy and Tommy. Tommy's here. They are both double-sided. That's kind of cool. I mean, not just the prints on the figures themselves, but I mean the heads are double-sided. But, uh, I think I'll only show one, because... I only like one side of the head. <laughs> I don't know why one of them is glasses. I mean, Tommy. I don't know why one side of Tommy's head is glasses, but whatever, I'm doing Billy. Here is the finished Billy figure, all completed. It's kind of cool, I like that. Oh, I probably show the back, too. Yeah. Obviously, if you haven't noticed yet or not, but... There's new energy pieces. Those are definitely new. I think they were just created for WandaVision. Scarlet Witch and uh, Agatha Harkness are, uh, has their own as well. Oh, this is my Wiccan custom that I made. I think it's kind of cool. I like it. This is what a uh, Wiccan would kind of look like, full-blown, you know? I mean, like, not as a kid, like, all grown up, whatnot. I kind of used the uh, Naruto hair for his, uh, his hair look. The rest of the pieces, I don't know how I'm going to get them, because I don't think they're available anymore. 
but the head is from the same figure. The head and the hair are all the same, uh, came with the same figure I ordered. And I ordered that particular one because it has the headband that uh, Wiccan has too. I just thought that was a kind of cool thing or add on whatnot. But now I'm going to switch their energies. Which it may not make a difference, but whatever. Still doing it. So now Billy has uh, the Wic uh, Wiccan head. I mean, grown up Wiccan. And now I think Wiccan is going to have these blue energies that uh, Billy had. I don't know. It, it might make it better, I think. I'm thinking it will. I just don't know that for a fact. Try to put it on because his hands are loose. And again, I don't know why that's the case, but yeah, they are loose. Now, Wiccan has the blue energies that Billy had. I don't know why I just had to show that off, but yeah. I might, um, I might switch it back. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Probably not. I mean, because it kind of made the hand loose. I mean, I didn't make the hand loose. That the this hand for Wiccan is already loose, and it kind of just shows his hand off, exposed. And I don't know if I like that too much, but I might just let it slide and just keep this change permanent. It's cool. Now we're gonna do tummy. Here is the fold completed tummy figure. Can't say that I'm that impressed with it. I mean, it's cool, but I think it's the glasses that's not working with me. I mean, it works kind of okay and well with them, but I don't know. I feel like it deserved another head, maybe to look more accurate. I think these glasses kind of work more with Kate Bishop, who is also a member of the Young Avengers, besides uh, Billy and Tommy, who are become... Uh, the, you know, the, uh, um, the superheroes known as Wiccan and Speed. Uh, Billy's gonna be Wick, uh, becomes Wiccan, and, uh, Tommy becomes Speed. Tommy takes after his uncle, Quicksilver. He gets his, uh, super speed. Just like Quicksilver has super speed, and Wiccan has Wanda's powers, but... A little more uh, enhanced, and I think a little bit more, um, I don't know. I think he has more diversity in his powers than Wanda does. Wanda's uh, powers are strong, but um, I think Wiccan has more more powers, and his powers work differently than Wanda's. And they're both controlled by emotions. It's a little bit confusing. I don't think Wanda can sense where people's locations are, but Wiccan can do that, so that that's what I what I was trying to get at. He doesn't come with any energies either. Tommy doesn't. I don't know why, but it's it was still cool, still a cool figure. The next we're gonna move on to oh man, who's I gonna move on to? Let's just move on to their mom. Uh Wanda Maximum. She comes with energies. Here's Wanda Maxima from the final battle of Wanda and Agatha Harkness. That was really cool. She comes with energy, obviously. And uh, the the head. I like the head. Don't get me wrong with that, but it doesn't. For some reason, it doesn't read into me thinking. It feels like the appropriate head that she, or the, the face that she was having, um, while she was fighting Agatha Harkness. She seemed like she was really upset, so, uh, 
this other one right here, the Scarlet Witch, I think this is more her face. Too bad it's too blurry for you to see the all the details. Maybe if I took the hood off. Nope, still doesn't work. I mean, you can't really see it because it has to be blurry, of course. But I was going for this face. I was going to probably switch these up, actually. And, um... I was going to give this face to a uh, full-blown Scarlet Witch. So I think I'll just switch these faces out, or... I'm going to do something with this. Something's going. Something's happening here. Oh. Well, it looks like uh, the, the face for um for uh, the full blown Scarlet Witch looks pretty good actually. I, I might actually want to change it. Oh right. Um. Now I do Mephisto next, and next will be Mephisto. Here is the Mephisto custom figure deck. Right here. I don't know why they gave him feet and like a chest. It's kind of weird. I can't see that because it's so stupidly blurry for some reason. I I really do actually like the Mephisto look figure, not gonna lie. But um I'm I know he's supposed to be the devil, but why'd they give him such a devilish grin that kinda looks like a troll and something out of Nexo Knights? I hate to say it, but I think the head, the body, and the limbs all look like they're from Nexo Knights. But the, um, I like the addition of the hair and the cape itself. That's just cool. I'm gonna keep that. But, um, I'm gonna make some tweaks to this, I think. But it's definitely a really cool figure. I was actually... <laughs> It's funny, like, I saw it in the bag, I'm like, I'm not thinking much of it, and when I, like, saw it, um, online, I, I don't understand how it's so different, but when I unbox it, it's just like, wow. <laughs> it's, it's entirely different than looking at an image online, than actually holding it in your hand. I don't even know how that's different, it's just like, it's the same thing, but it's not. <laughs> Anyways, um... I was going for more of this look. In fact, I think I might just switch this one up. Maybe, yeah, I'll just do that right now. I'm just gonna, hang on a second. Okay, now that I think is a little more comic accurate. I know you can't tell the difference. Because it's blurry. Thank you, stupid phone. Okay, whatever, but yeah, it's definitely different. It's definitely better. <laughs> I like it. I actually um, have Lego parts on this one. The uh, legs, limbs, torso, and head are all Lego from Nexo Knights. Actually, the head's from Nexo Knights. The body's a Royal Guard, and the red legs, I have no idea. That could be like from anything, but yeah. Just of it. So you can get that, that, that Mephisto figure. That I that I'm obviously doing a review right now of <laughs> you can you will get the cape with it and the hair and just add that to this and it's and it already looks good. I don't understand, but I know this looks like a demon or whatever, but um, 
I know that he d uh, Mephisto isn't doesn't show his chest or have like feet like he's not barefoot or whatever. And he definitely does not have this troll face. I don't understand. It just it I mean it's sure it looks a little bit mischievous, but it doesn't look demonic. Maybe slightly more a little less like a uh, demon, but more troll. Anyways, next is White Vision. Here's the White Vision figure. I like the figure. It's really cool. But, um, I mean, I, I was excited about the cape, too, how cool it was. But, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a little bit loose. I'm not crazy about that. But, yeah. I think I have a fix for it, but, um, I might keep it like this for a while, who knows, despite it being kind of loose. It's funny, this actually looks like white vision. <laughs> the other vision I have, it kind of looks more like a silver vision. Silver gray vision, like the one I did in the last video. But anyways, next we're going to do Monica Rambo, a.k.a. Spectrum. I like the fact that she comes with a clear head. <laughs> I think it's to display her helmet that she wears in the, I believe it's the penultimate uh, episode of WandaVision, which means second to last. I think it's penultimate anyways. It might have been the third to last, but probably penultimate so write that one uh, in your dictionary books pen ultimate it's like pen and the word pen you know like the thing you write with and ultimate which means second to last here's the completed monica rambo spectrum figure i like it a lot it's really good especially the glowing eyes they're more accurate, I think. They're more accurate in this than this one. Her eyes were kind of small, would you say? Yeah, her eyes were kind of small. And you didn't see the glow in her pupils, so... And I don't, I don't think I remember seeing her mad like this or whatever. I don't know. It's still a really cool figure. But this one I think is more accurate. It's, it's, um, it has her in her white suit. This one kind of looks like a little, kind of a grayish color. It's nice. But, you know, it's more accurate. Came with this clear head piece. I like that. It also came with something I do like, but what I don't like, there's something I don't like about it, is, um, I love the fact it came with her helmet. Too bad the, uh, the clear visor is a bit damaged. It doesn't show up too much there, but below in the crack, it does have some damage. I mean, not like some, it's, I mean, I guess it's kind of some, but depends on how you look at it. To me, it's kind of a lot, but... Okay, where it's it has enough damage to the point where it's kind of noticeable. So yeah, I guess it's not a lot, but it's very, very noticeable. Or unless it's just how it was designed and it wasn't made that well. It's got some cracks in it, but and you know it's a little rough around the edges. But the figure is awesome. I love the figure. It is amazing. Putting that in the WandaVision bag. Yes, I have my own little bag for WandaVision figures. Um, oh wait, I need to take them out because I'm going to show them all. i to just going to display them all, sort of, from this video. Mm. Alright, now we're going to move on to... Let's do Agatha Harkness first, maybe... 
And then Scarlet Witch. No, let's just do full blown Scarlet Witch. Full blown Scarlet Witch. I know Agatha Harkness came first. I was trying to do it in the order of how the, these characters kind of introduced themselves in a way. But it's fine. I don't really need to do that. I kind of like Scarlet Witch anyways. And seeing Agatha Harkness for last because she's a really cool character. Here is the Scarlet Witch figure. It is absolutely amazing. It's it's perfect. It's it's all I could probably dream of. I think I put her dress on right. I'm pretty sure. I'm just gonna go and say yes. Also comes with energies. I mean, isn't that bad A or what? I mean, you should have seen her in the series. This is pretty much what she looked like, and. I know uh, her costume in the comics, but man, they CGI'd the crud out of it and made it so good. They made it better. I don't even know how they did that. But yeah, she is stunning. Amazing. I love that. It's really well done. Alright, last but not least, Agatha Harkness. Here is the Agatha Harkness figure. I don't know why those are just flailing up, but they should be down here. But yeah. That I don't like about that, but the, the, the figure is really good. Okay, you do, I guess. Yeah, this is cool. Really love it. She has that purple energy. Obviously, Scarlet Witch had energy too. It also comes with this piece, this purple piece. I could probably just use. I just put that right on there, right like that, and see what how it looks. It probably looks cool. I'll bet. Come down. Alright. Yeah. It does look actually kind of cool. I don't know what looks better. <laughs> she kind of looks like a ghost. I mean, I understand that her cape kind of goes all the way around her or whatever, but it makes her kind of look like a ghost. I think I like the other uh, choice better. Personally, I think I like this choice better with the dress and whatnot. I might remove those purple things. I don't like how they're sticking out like that. Okay, that wraps up about that. And here is the figures for the last time. And I'll see you in the next video. I'll be doing Falcon and the Winter Soldier figures next. Okay, thank you. See you. Bye.